Hello again, Internet. Welcome again to Casual Encounters, the World of Warcraft show. Uh, this is episode 1.3, third episode of my first week. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, uh, if anybody watched my last episode to the end, if you got that far, uh, you might have noticed it was kind of an abrupt ending. Just my video cut out on me for some reason, but I was done. I was just going to make some final comments or whatever. Nothing important, so you didn't miss anything. Don't worry. Um, and before I start on, uh, on my uh, topics of the day, um, again, I just want everyone to know uh, that... Um, all this that I'm doing um, make it or don't make it you know it's fun I, I enjoy giving my comments um, and it's all you know all because of people like Josh Allen and uh, all the people from Legendary Gary Gannon Mike B Pat Crane Olivia Grace also the guys from Convert to Raid uh, Pat Crane, Coltrane and Darius, and uh, the guys at Fat Boss. Um, though, like I said, I know there's a lot more other people out there um, doing great, great work. Um, but those are the ones I watch. I, I just really enjoy them. So, uh, to get to today's first topic, um, how will jewel crafters? And enchanters make money in uh, Warlords of Draenor if there's going to be less. If they're not going to have main stats and all that stuff, there's going to be less gems. Well, I, uh, of course, Blizzard's going to find a way, right? They're not going to, I don't think they're going to screw everybody over. I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. I mean, people worked hard on their professions. Um, I'm sure they're going to find a way. Um... For example, you know, some people are saying, well, I'm going to make mus less money because there's going to be less gems, you know, there's not going to be, well, maybe not, maybe you're not going to have the same amount of gems, like total amount of possible gems you can make, uh, but you will probably, people will be using more of the different kinds that are available, right? Or maybe they won't be if they're putting less gems um on gear which from what i understand seems to be the concept because the whole thing right is um let's let's get in a raid let's you piece of gear drop or any you know any whether it's a raid or a dungeon or wherever um and you get to put it on right right away you just you get to wear it hey next boss i don't have to cop out people don't have to wait for you you know to go oh i gotta go jam and reforge and all that stuff no they so there might be less gems so how then will enchanters and and jewel crafters make their money if there's less gemming and enchanting on gear well what i'm guessing is perhaps they're going to be a little more powerful maybe they require more mats and therefore they will be more expensive so maybe you'll sell less um but you'll make more on each individual sell right that i mean that seems to it, it seems to be the logical to me um another thing they can do as uh, some other people had mentioned is uh, create other things look look at the date with jewel crafting and mist right they did that whole panther mount thing um, now I know not everybody buys them, but, but it's, it's one source of income if you, if you want to put that in, uh, when it comes to gear stuff, um, people were saying, Hey, let's, what about rings? What about, uh, stuff? What about rings and stuff? You know, necklaces, uh, trinkets, jewel crafters. Why, why not give jewel crafters that, uh, that option to do that? Um, I think it would. That would be a great way to supplement uh, their income. 
um, you know, and do it the same way, the same way leather craft, leather workers and tailors and stuff, you know, they sell, uh, what is it right now, they're making some 553 belts and something else, belts and what is it, anyways, whatever, so, they, you know, they're making that stuff and they're making some money. It's not the, the, the highest thing, but it, it's, it, it's, it's a couple of 553 items, which is, you know, great when you, when you, when you start hitting the, getting the big raids and you need to upgrade to start getting into gear that's going to get you more 553 gear. Um, you know, that's going to help a lot, right? So, uh, so they could do the same for enchant, uh, for the jewel crafters and the, the enchanters, give them something to make. Uh, enchanters already make these little wands why not just mm, enhance that right uh, give them give them more wands to make that might that might be useful you know um, so that's what I think about that um, I think that's I, I this they'll, they'll find a way they're, they're gonna find a way to, to to make it all work out so that people could still put their gear on and enchanters and uh, Jewel crafters will still be able to make their money. Uh, what is the next thing? Uh, the next thing that uh, people were talking about, I guess it was hitting, is uh, seems kind of weird, but they were talking about, oh, do you think they're going to nerf the raids? Um, I'm sure they will. I mean, they always have, right? I mean, it's it's normal near the end of the when it gets time for the next patch coming, and there's a lot of people who still haven't. Um, gotten uh gotten their kills they start nerfing it slowly they did it they always do it so i don't see why not i mean yeah there's flex now and you can progress in flex a lot easier and that is definitely one argument uh not to and and um but uh at this point they uh they still have um there's no there's no um guild guild achievements um for progression for flex right now uh that i could see i mean i haven't i we we did flex i mean we we killed some bosses with our guild and i didn't i didn't see any achievements come up so it it's uh it doesn't seem to be um n next in warlords from the way i understand normals are, are are gonna be working like flex at well exactly the way flex is right now that's what normals are gonna be so hopefully that you know, once you have your 75% or whatever, um, then you'll be able to start getting achievements for, for that difficulty. Uh, right now, I don't, I don't think you can. So, uh, I think it would be, um, a shame if they didn't, uh, nerf, um, the, all the raid content as we got closer to the end of Mists. Uh, again, so don't forget, I'm a casual player we have lots of misfits in our guild and we like to fool around just play the game have fun no pressure uh we're we're, we're not going to be a number one guild we're not going to be top 100 top 1000 nothing we just there to have some fun but we do want to kill the bosses on normal right we like to finish we want to kill the main guy at the end on normal that's what we want to do and if it takes us till right to the end to do it that's fine at least at least we got to play all the way through right so that's that's my opinion on that. Um, next topic. What do we got? Transmog not upgrading old gear. Uh, well, I got some stuff to say. Not so much on that particular topic. I guess it's a little more personal. Um, um, I've got um, my druid, which is my main... Um, uh, when I started my druid, I made a male druid, and when they brought out transmog, um, I was uh, kind of a, a a pig, and and I decided to go change her, change him to uh, to a female. So I, I I paid to have that that transfer, not transfer, but you know that change done. Uh, because now I think, damn, I can make her wear whatever she wants. So I always have her in these little skimpy outfits. Uh, and I have a beef with Blizzard. There is no leather, true bikini style legs. And that's, that's not cool. She's wearing the war bear woolies. 
don't know if you've ever seen them. They're kind of bikini-like, but they're really furry and they, they go down between the legs. So they're not really bikini style. I mean, I find it amazing because in real life, leather is usually like the sexiest thing you'll ever find, right? So, um, anyways, that's, that's my little beef on that. But back to the topic of um, up, not upgrading the gear graphically when they upgrade the character models. Ah, I could definitely understand why they would. I mean, it's a lot. That would be some ridiculous amount of work, right? To go back at all the gear and upgrade them, that would be crazy. That would be just insane. Um, I I just hope it looks okay with all this old transmog gear on, you know? Like, I'm just a little worried that that transmog gear is not going to look as good on, uh, on, on on a new upgraded uh, player it's I'm a little worried about that a little worried that it's gonna look a little strange and then am I gonna have to get all kinds of new gear or I haven't seen any like new really really super sexy stuff come out and you know that's that's why I love transmog because a man pig whatever whatever you want to call me that's that's what I am so you know uh, It'd be really nice if they could come up with some new gear. Give me some bikini leather, people. Bikini leather. I I don't understand. I, I've seen the sexiest gears like plate. It's like, what? What's going on with that? Like, really? The sexiest is plate? That's crazy. That's crazy. But, hey, glad, glad they could do it for the plate wearing girls out there. Or girl tunes. So, yeah. Well, well, I guess we'll just have to see how that goes, um, and hope for the best. Leave your comments on that one if uh, if you're like me. <laughs> um, well, those were the three topics that I was uh, mentioned about. Not a whole lot to say on them, um, but uh, maybe I'll just. Uh, which is, what is the next one I have there? Loot systems. Oh, I couldn't, could take a while. Maybe I'll save that for the next one. I'll talk about it. Why not? I'm only 12 minutes in. Um, so, loot systems. Loot systems. Uh, lots to say about loot systems. So, I was a little worried at first when they told me that uh, they were getting rid of flex and making it normal. I was a little worried um, that, you know, it, they were going to take that personalized loot away, that option. Because I think it's really, really good. Because right now, like flex, we pug a lot, and you know, being a loot master is a real pain in the ass. It's just so much easier. Just, it's it. Obviously, this is a a lot different once you start really progressing and you have like a a, a team, or like a real solid team, and uh, you can have a, a loot council or DKP or or whatever. I I think if you've got a real, real solid team and the the team is like all about the team and you know it's not greedy people who just want to get their character geared up but they want to progress with the team i don't think anybody in a team like that would have a problem with loot council um because i think everyone would just agree if they were really about the team and the piece would come up and they'd be like yeah that's uh okay who first of all who can use it Oh, oh, this guy, Ooh, he's got that lowest piece of gear. We got to replace that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's going to be like, yes. Because if they consider that team as one entity, then you are you are definitely that loot council or the whole, even as a whole, even not necessarily the loot council, maybe the whole, everybody should agree that of where it is. And then if there's like two guys, right, who have the exact same, for some weird reason, you have, uh, I don't know, uh, a warrior and a, DK and they're you know one is uh one you know they're they're both DPS right and 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 a piece drops and they they both have the same piece of gear same level whatever and this one piece up and it's an upgrade for both well okay roll you know or you know is there a best in slot is it is the secondary stats better on one than the other for one than the other you know then do it that way but I, I think it, it would, I, I don't think it's a problem, but, but back to casual me, casual my guild, um, that pugs in a lot of people because, you know, we're casual and uh, people don't show up and stuff or whatever. It's cool. I don't mind. 
but that personalized loot system is great. I, I just love it because then no one can really complain. No one can complain and say, ah, oh, you, you know, the guild master, the loot master, you know, I was a pug and they didn't want to give me my stuff and it should have been me who won and it's fixed and blah, 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 whatever. It, it stops all that drama, right? So, um, I, I, I missed it. But then I heard, yay, that they're going to allow the per to choose the personalized loot system for normals uh and that's that i think is great that i think is great um i heard something today and um i found it a little strange that i i thought it was something that they they fixed already but apparently not i because i don't really level tunes anymore so um and i have it i just didn't notice uh, but my wife is is leveling up uh a new tune uh, a monk i think and uh or well, she's leveling up because she she loves to level stuff. So, uh, either anyway, no, she was on a druid. I think she was on a new druid, and she was tanking, and uh, and some agility, uh, I think an agility staff dropped, and uh, the apparently a warrior won it because he needed on it, even though she needed it, and he needed it. Um, so my thought is why, why. Is the need button not grayed out when it is not a piece of gear relative to your class? Hit greed, sure. You might be an enchanter. You might be, you know, you know, so you can disenchant. Uh, you can sell it to the vendor. Uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever, for whatever reason you might want it. You can greed on it, right? But that need button? Why is that need button there? You don't need that. A warrior doesn't need an agility staff, no matter what. Doesn't make any sense to me. Um, if that was the exact item, I don't know. But whatever case, it doesn't matter. It had agility on it. It was better for my wife's druid. And warriors don't use agility. So why would he be able to need on it, whatever it was? So I think that in any um, group loot situation, random, random, whether you know if, if you're going into a, a dungeon if you're running a dungeon a random dungeon uh it should always be that everything is if it's usable to your class then you should be able to need on it but if it's if you're a warrior and it has agility you you should be able to greed only that's my opinion maybe there's some other reason that you know a warrior would want something with a jilly on it. I have no idea, but it. Sorry, but if there's a bear in the group, or a rogue, or you know, a hunter, or whatever, the agility should go to them, not the warrior. So, yeah, that's that's my opinion on that. Um, hopefully, they they might fix that someday, but who knows. Maybe they're not too worried about leveling up with free level 90s coming. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I went past my time that I normally would expect to do. I think 15 minutes is long enough. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Um, for whatever reason you want to send me an email, it's wow on my mind. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Over. Oh, I'm not used to this. Wow on my mind. It's right there. At gmail.com. Uh, you don't have to put in the capitals. I don't think you should. No capitals. Um, so, yeah, subscribe if you uh, if you like these videos. Um, and uh, come back, please. Tell your friends. I'm not Josh Allen, but hopefully... I'm not, I'm not Olivia D. Grace either. I, I don't go through do all the research and all the hard work they do as you can tell by my well polished video here yay but uh yeah i hope the content's good i hope you enjoy the content because that's that's really i want to make some good opinions for everybody um i i want everybody to maybe if i have some really good ideas um hopefully they'll get around and Maybe the right people will hear them, and maybe uh, maybe Blizzard will make some changes in the right direction. 
help us casual people a little bit more, huh? <laughs> um, what else? Uh, uh, as usual, uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, Legendary um, on Game Breaker TV. Um, Convert to Raid. Uh, Fat Boss Weekly. All great shows that I watch. And this is those are the shows that my shows are based on. I watch them, and I'm sitting there going, yeah, but what about, why not this, why not that? And sometimes they don't say stuff that nobody gives that particular side of it or that opinion, and that's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to give that my opinion, and I want people to hear that opinion. Um, I don't know if anybody else wants to hear them. I guess it'll show over time. Uh, this is my third episode. First two, first two days. No one's watched any yet. That's okay. I don't mind. I'll just keep doing them. Who knows? Someday, maybe. Well, you know what? I'm talking about Josh Allen, right? Um, who is sort of my real my real inspiration for this. Uh, even though he's a hardcore raider, I'm the casual version, basically. Just not as good. No one will be as good. But, um, so, yeah. Oh, God, I lost my train of thought. That's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, I just want to get that side that's that side of my of, of my opinions out there and uh that's about it so oh yeah oh yeah the, was talking about my uh youtube stuff right my having no views yet so um yeah uh i i didn't you know when when josh allen started doing the, the weekly marmot i mean yeah he had tank spot and all that stuff and people started going in there he started with a great product and then the videos and so that one thing led to another i'm just starting right here so could be a lot longer road for me uh if it ever happens might never happen you know maybe i will never have two thousand viewers you know whatever but eh, i have fun doing it it's not hard so um yeah so like i was saying um one day I saw Weekly Marmot, whatever, I turned it on, I watched it, I don't even remember what episode, but it was, you know, one of his, near the beginning, but not quite, you know, let's say 15, 20 episodes in, I don't remember. Uh, so I would, I, I started watching them whenever they come up every week, and uh, and then one day I was like, oh, I'm going to go back and look, you know, and I started going back to the first one, and then I watched the second, and I, and I ended up watching them all. Um... You know, and there was some useful information. Yeah, there was some outdated stuff, of course, because, you know, some of the stuff was up-to-minute stuff and news and all this stuff I knew. But he also had a lot of interesting things to say uh, about, uh, you know, um, uh, add-ons and little things like that, right? So, I mean, I don't really have in much like that. I'm more talking about news, so my first few episodes might not be interesting to anybody else in six months from now. But... Maybe some of my ideas will be, you know, there's still stuff that might be able to be changed in the future if it never gets changed. And uh, being a casual player, um, um, I think Blizzard likes their casual players because they give them money. So, and not every, most people who play aren't hardcore players anyway. And they, they want the old... Uh, the old feel-good slot machine, right, Gary Gannon? Uh, so anyway, uh, well, I've kept you guys way longer than I should have, so uh, hopefully you'll come back. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.